Amador Water Agency Board of Directors passed a resolution of intent Thursday, July 26, to form a new community facilities district to help cover the agency recover costs related to the Amador transmission pipeline. CFD will collect advance payments from property owners who plan to connect to the Amador water system, which serves Jackson, Sutter Creek, Ione, Martell, Plymouth, Dry Town, and Amador City. AWA General Manager said the CFD is about rate fairness for our current AWS customers. Future customers can pay their fair share today instead of when they connect to the system, relieving a burden of debt on current customers. Mancibo said Wednesday that a recent online publication by the Ratepayer Protection Alliance was incorrect in saying a 45% water rate increase as AWA could soon be a reality because of the agency's intention to have a partial countywide rate consolidation. Mancibo said the article is inaccurate because the ratepayers have a choice. The proposed rates for the upcountry areas include both an option to replace the existing pumps and pipes, which is expensive and would cause high rate increases, or they could approve a much cheaper alternative, the Gravity Supply Line, which has a USDA grant paying about 40% of the total project costs. He said the system-wide water rate structure is being done to streamline the amateur water agency's administration and budgeting and to avoid duplication and to ensure that customers are being treated fairly in some cases, a monthly bill may go up a couple of dollars, and in other cases, customers' bills will go down slightly to reflect the lowest possible cost for delivering water. Mancibo said the AWA is also proposing the much cheaper gravity supply line to help upcountry water users avoid paying a 45% rate increase to replace the existing pumps and pipes. But ultimately, it will be up to the voters to decide which rate and method of water delivery they would like. He said the Rate Period Alliance must also make certain assumptions about the future, such as inflation over a period of years. And the AWA board in late July approved a draft system-wide rate consolidation as AWA gears up to prepare for the GSL project. Consultant Bob Reed broke down consolidated costs per the four water systems with a total annual cost of $7.9 million in 2012. 2013 with 5.2 million for operation and maintenance. Debt service payments per system included 1.8 million in AWS, 516,000 in Central Amador, 43,000 in Comanche, and 19,000 for the Mill Heights. Reed said CAWP's total didn't include the GSL project. He said costs would vary as different systems get rate increases for water, but when rates are raised in the future, all would raise the same for all water customers. Reed said an 8% rate increase would be needed to boost overall revenues in 2012-2013 if a CFD is approved in CAWP. He said rates would decrease by about 300 dollars a year for substantial savings even with the special tax of the CFD.